what's going on got this hummingbird fish finder right here this is uh, not giving me good readings at uh, moderate speeds giving me a bad signal so I'm trying to figure out what to do with this transducer I think I got it mounted properly but I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up uh, right there is my previous height my setup on this old wheel it's got that stump guard so they had to make me a bracket to put this transducer on and uh, as soon as I get on plane or right before I get on plane it loses signals it just starts giving me all kind of crazy stuff but uh, I'm gonna try uh, raising it up I think I might have it a little too low and the boat guy said that's the place they'd been putting them on the far end of the boat and said it was working properly so that's what I'm gonna try right here is uh just a level just show you how it looks uh coming off the bottom of the boat that might I guess it might be too low if you if you got any ideas or suggestions just let me know uh it's uh got down scamming scanning images on it uh and the regular sonar nothing real fancy but it like for it to work halfway decent here I'm just taking it off So just use the Allen wrench on these hummingbirds. Unscrew from your little nut and take the take the bolt out. Pull it out and you're good to go. Mm -mm -mm. Taking me some time there. I should have had me a speedier setup. But I get it undone. Okay. Take my transducer off, put it on top of my boat. Take loose these two screws. I only got two screws in it for right now because I didn't want to keep drilling holes in my little plate. I do got an impact driver that I'm gonna put on it to get them off a little bit quicker. Probably should have used it to start with, but that's me. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Come on, speed up soon. Well, we'll get that off, and uh, I'm going to take this drill bit. I'm going to just round out the bottom right there. Just try to, uh, where I can increase my height on it. Because I like to do stuff the hard way instead of drilling extra holes in my little plate. It actually did give me a little bit of height, not too much, but... We'll try it out. Uh, you'll see it in a in a final clip of where I do where I do get it at. That's just some. Um, that's just the start of it. I'm gonna trim it up a little bit more before I put it on there. At the end up putting washers behind this little plastic mount here. That plate that's on the boat. Uh, by the time you put the transducer on there, it's bumping up against the stump guard, and it, sometimes it won't let you tilt the angle on the transducer. So I don't know if they make another mount for that or not. If they do, uh, leave a comment. I know. Uh, let me know or leave me a link. To where I can find me another bracket. So, 
some of my handicraft work right there. Yep, yep. Okay, put it back on. Speed it up a little bit, son. Uh, the part that I don't show you on here is uh, where I said uh, put some washers at the front and the back of these uh, self tapping screws to uh, push it out away from the bracket some to keep it from bumping on that uh, stump guard there. Yeah, I'll line these little hummingbirds up on certain numbers, but sometimes it goes on there. That's what I'm getting right there. It looks about the same as the first that I had it. So that's what I finished up with. Yeah, it looks way off, but that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna run it like that. It's the front of us bumping right on that stump guard. That's what I don't like. And that's how much of an angle I got on it. So I'm gonna try that. Run it, see if it does any better. Right here I'm just showing you I'm using these one inch cable tie mountain bases. Uh, I'd seen some of them on the internet. These right here are just the Walmart kind. They're the indoor kind got adhesive backing on them or you can run cable then you can put your zip tied through it I got some video coming up show you how I'm gonna use them for my own transducer cable I think it's a neat little idea I don't know how far uh, it's gonna go being in the water and on the outdoor it does say for indoor use but I didn't want to drill no holes and that's about the best idea I could come up with. Here I go using some on some cable that I uh, already run some of the transducer cable and the power cable for the fish finder. Just stick them on there, run your zip ties through it and tie it down. Now they got a better brand of this uh, on the internet. A uh, more sturdier uh, zip tie mounts. But I think it might hold up for a while. Here I'm just cleaning the back of the boat and I'm take some alcohol pads, clean it up. That way it helps it stick better. I'm going to use two on the transom here. To help hold my cable. Let's peel the backing off. Bam, like that right there. Anybody can do it. Simple. I like simple. Look there. Press them on there. Let them set about a day before you actually use them. They might turn out pretty good. Just pressing them in, trying to get them to hold a little bit better. There goes the one at the bottom. I just run two small zip ties through them. I think these zip ties are rated at 17 foot pounds. Should be good enough to hold this cable. That's one. Doing one at the top. Run a couple through this one. Zip tie it down. I think it's a, a neat installation. Didn't have to drill no holes in my transom.
Zip, zip. And there we go. That's what it looks like after I finished up with it. Mm-hmm. 